Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm face box for the month of February 2022. This is also my paid box, so a little bit different than my PR box. And if you guys are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It helps me a ton. To dive right on in, we have the Be My Glamantine as the theme this month. I'm going to start off with my choice item. I ended up choosing the Saturday Skin Yuzu Bright Eye Cream with vitamin C. See, this is what the packaging looks like. I tried this out in my other video. The product was pretty nice. It does not have any type of scent or anything, and it is a little bit of a thicker consistency. This is what the actual packaging looks like. I love the little fruit on the top. It's super cute. Ooh, this is same as the other one. This is actually a little bit loose on the top as well. The other one that I opened was loose on the top too. This eye cream retails for $32. And this is what the eye cream looks like. The next product I've got in my box is a brush. This is the Ali Whoop Multitasker 4-in-1 Makeup Brush. It retails for $28. It says that it's an award-winning multitasker brush, and it's got four of the most used brushes on here and applicators. This is what the brush looks like. I showed you guys this. I got it in my PR box as well. I love the idea of this only for travel. I would not use this as an everyday brush. I don't like that it's dual ended. I like that it is compact, but I don't like that you have to unscrew each one because if you're like me and are not able to clean your makeup brushes every single time, it just, it can build up bacteria in here and how are you supposed to clean in here? Like, I guess you can go in with a Q-tip, but I don't know. It's like a really cool, innovative thing, but at the same time, is it really something that's usable? And then we've got the angled brush on this side. We have the sponge, which I do not like the sponge. I don't like, you know, tapping my face like this. I like going in with a beauty blender like this, but you can't because it's so pointy. Maybe if it was round on the end i don't know but i'm pretty sure this beauty blender does not come out of here the angled face brush feels really nice this can be used for powder blush bronzer highlighter really whatever you want quality feels really nice for these brushes overall i would say though i will only use this for travel i will not use this for everyday use just because it's too much of a hassle opening and closing and cleaning it's just a little too much for me the next product I've got in here is by Bally Bomb, and this is their pineapple lip scrub. I like lip scrubs, so I'm glad this is in here. This rich, indulgent sugar scrub is packed with juicy pineapple fragrance and exfoliating sugar cane crystals to gently buff and polish away dead skin cells, plus a ultra-smoothing blend of the finest botanicals. The super hydrating coconut oil and aromic mix of cinnamon, orange, and vanilla essential oils will leave your lips soft and supple, and it retails for $23. It sounds really good. I know sometimes you have to be careful with essential oils, especially on thin areas of your skin, because it can definitely be more delicate and more prone to having issues a lot of people can actually be sensitive to essential oils Ooh, this smells really good so this is what the scrub looks like i can definitely smell the pineapple i don't smell any cinnamon or anything like that I definitely get a sweet pineapple scent from it and this is also a new launch I'm excited to get this type of product just because I feel like lip scrubs aren't in these boxes too much. It's something different from the normal. Today's video shout out word is pineapple. If you comment pineapple down below in the comments first, you'll get a shout out in my next video. The next product that I got is the OPV Beauty Loose Setting Powder. It retails for $22 and it's a perfect setting powder to use with foundation or on its own. I will say similar to the lash enhancer that we got in premium this month, if you chose it as your choice item. Item. I don't like when companies use this plastic outside of their packaging. I just feel like it makes it look like the product is cheap. I guess it could be used for protective purposes, but at the same time, like I feel like this one without it looks more expensive. This powder retails for $22. This powder is to mattify, set, conceal, or diffuse, and the formula acts as a finishing touch to bring your whole look together. I like this packaging. It's really nice. This actually reminds me of like the Laura Mercier translucent setting powders. I actually have so many loose powders open right now that I'm gonna keep it closed for now. It's a pretty nice size jar. 
So it looks like it'll last a while. And I really like the packaging. All right, guys, the last product in my box is by Contact Skin. This is their matte lipstick. Antioxidants and botanical oils provide nutrients that condition and protect skin from free radical damage. Lips are left supple and moisturized with a velvety matte finish. This creamy formula glides on and pampers lips with intense hydration, provides a full coverage rich demi matte look without the dryness and it retails for $20. The shade that they sent me is 116 Tears Are Falling. It says it was made in China. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's pretty. It's like a, a nudie mauve color. I like how it like curves up at the end. So that's the shade. Oh, wow, that's really pretty. This lipstick feels really creamy and soft on my lips. I also just went over like a little bit and the color payoff is there. I think this is a really pretty like everyday color. I'm a fan. And it gives you a demi matte look without the dryness. I guess that's true, yeah. Hmm. I like it. Okay guys, so this is my box for this month. Let me know what you guys thought down below. The total retail value of this box is $135. Like I've previously said, I feel like all of the boxes this month seem to be lower value than they were in the past. So hopefully they get back up there next month, especially with the increases in price. What did you guys get in your boxes this month? Let me know down below. And, and thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button, and turn your post notification bell on so you guys are updated every time I post a new video. Love you guys. Bye.